Hello and welcome to Global Entrepreneurship Week. I'm Cliff Jones and I serve as the Deputy Director for the Delta Center for Economic Development at Arkansas State University. Today we have a very special guest, Dr. Mickey Latour. Mickey serves as the Dean of the College of Agriculture at Arkansas State University and has done so since August of 2020. Welcome, Mickey. I appreciate it, Cliff. Thanks so much for having me here today. You bet. Um, could we start off first by learning a little bit more about you and your interests, your research, and what brought you to Arkansas State University? You know, Arkansas State University is a very unique uh, institution. If you go back in history, uh, this institution started as an ag school uh, back in 1909. And then if you fast forward to today, uh, you see that we have a standalone college, even in agriculture. And that, that college of agriculture you know, includes things from ag business to animal science to uh, plant and soil science to ag education, uh, graduate programs. And so it's a wide range of things that we offer uh, in the area. And if you look at Jonesboro itself, it's rich in the food industry. You have major crops, rice, corn, soybeans, cotton, uh, and now you've seen an explosion of peanuts uh, in the area. And if you look at the corridor, the uh, industrial corridor here in Jonesboro, you have Butterball, Nestle, Frito-Lay, Riceland. So this area is rich in just agriculture. So agriculture is the number one industry in Arkansas. And it certainly uh, shows that here in Jonesboro. And that's very attractive to me to be in a place where agriculture is such a rich part of the canvas and the fabric of the institution, but also part of the overall makeup of the region. Thank you very much. Um, I know from our visits and your visits with the Delta Center team, you also have a very sincere interest in innovation and in entrepreneurship. Uh, could you expand a little bit about um, your perspective on, on those two areas? You know, one of the words that we use in higher education is called experiential learning. And a lot of individuals will ask me, what exactly does that mean, experiential learning? Uh, many times it's uh, confused with just hands-on learning. So unlike hands-on learning where you may be a participant, so someone's really guiding you and you're participating and you're not having to provide significant thought into the whole process along the way. Experiential learning takes it to that next level. A good example of that will be is, uh, let's say like in my past life where I have students that we're gonna make a specialty bratwurst. Well, you have to know a little bit about cheese and it's not just any kind of cheese, it has to be a high temp cheese. and so. When you blend it, what, what percent are you gonna put into the blend? Is it gonna be 8%, 10%, 12% of, of this? Now that's experiential learning where you have to start thinking about the amount of meat, the, the composition of the fat, the composition of the cheese, the composition, that is a deeper level of understanding. And um, that's what I'm really excited about. Uh, I think you know we had uh, received a little over half a million dollars to renovate our meat lab here uh, at Arkansas State. And we are moving forward with a USDA uh, inspection certificate. That's coming along. Uh, we hope you secure that. And we expect to start producing some signature products in 22 uh, with our students. Great. Um, I know related to, to some of those ideas has been your expansion and changes to the farmer's market. Um, do you want to elaborate a little bit about, about those? Certainly, Cliff. Uh, you know, it's actually quite timely uh, to have this conversation. Uh, there's people that are asking, how will that relationship look? If you look at the farmer's market, they have been uh, in that facility or at that property since 2004. And now we have a new facility that will be going in to complement what they're doing. So let me give you a couple examples of the kinds of things I would like to see our students engaged in and to work with them. So the first one might be something like tomatoes. It would be very typical to go to a farmer's market and see tomatoes. It's different when you take a tomato and you make a salsa. So the question is, how do you do that? And so we want to work with people to take their product from just a tomato to a salsa and then all the steps that would come along there. And so the other thing would be uh, to take things like strawberries and how would you create a, a jelly? And if you're going to create a jelly, how do you make a specialty jelly? And so it's those kinds of things that we want to complement. One of the things that I hope that our students can work on is a rice french fry. 
And, uh, you know, people say, now, wait a minute. Most all the French fries that they have is now you see a little bit of sweet potato and you see regular potatoes. But there's in rice, there might be the possibility of creating a French fry that might actually have some different properties that could be pretty exciting. So rice is rice is big business here in Northeast Arkansas. And so we want to take and look at some of the things that we currently do with the farmers and the people in the region and how can we take their product to the next level too. So it's those kinds of things. Great. And one last uh, question today, I think when we talk about entrepreneurship and innovation, um, we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the power of partnerships. And uh, you and I and our teams have talked about the partnering, um, some of the Delta Center's efforts with the College of Agriculture um, in regards to entrepreneurship training or, or uh, training, uh, continuing education training for, for people in the area. Would you like to elaborate on some of the ideas there? You know, I'm a, I'm a strong supporter of the Delta Center. And, uh, and I mentioned it even when we had our groundbreaking at the Judd Hill Farmers Market facility. The piece that I've learned along the way in my own life, you don't know what you don't know. And so when people start thinking about pushing their product, I'm going to go back to tomatoes. So if you, if that's what you come to the farmer's market, you're pushing that out to go to the next step. What kind of training would you need, not just for a food science perspective, but on a business perspective to understand how to take your product to the next step? Where are there programs that you might be able to compete for and to tap into? And so it's all of that, you know, so I believe everything has to move together. The science behind what we're doing with the food and the innovation of that. We also need to partner with people like yourself and the Delta Center that can help along the way the kinds of things that people need to be thinking about to take their product to the marketplace. So if you look at farmers markets today, you know, they're growing by double digits. And if you look at last summer when COVID really was high and you saw the meat supply and the supply chain issues along the way. People really started getting concerned about where am I going to purchase my food? It's one thing to talk about certain kinds of commodities that we purchase, but food is one of those that people want to certainly understand where they're getting their food and that it's available. And so we're seeing more in a farmer's market. So I think there's going to be tremendous opportunity at a local level. So how will those individuals gear up correctly? Uh, and embrace that. So it may be with online orders. It may be with they deliver. It may be very different than the way they started at a farmer's market. So it's really, I want those individuals and our students to work with the Delta Center to understand the complexity and the opportunities going forward. We look forward to working with you and your team. Uh, well, Mickey, thank you again for our visit. It's always a Pleasure to uh, visit with you and uh, thank you for participating in Global Entrepreneurship Week. We look forward to working together in the future. Absolutely. Anytime I can do something for the Delta Center, you can always count me in. Thank you very much.